everybody. Welcome back to Healthy Recipes with Gina. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all today how easy it is to make a delicious, flavorful, juicy baked cod and cabbage. We're going to bake it in parchment paper. This recipe assures you that your fish is going to be packed with flavor. It's going to remain nice and juicy. It's going to be some of the best fish you've ever had. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need some cod. We have beautiful cod. Take a look, take a look. Big, long, thick pieces of cod, and it's so fresh. When you purchase your fish, it should never, ever be smelly. If your fish smells smelly or it feels slimy, get rid of it, purchase new. It smells so fresh, just like the sea. We have vegan butter. We also have a small head of cabbage. We have fresh lemon. We have the Mrs. Dash salt-free original, garlic powder, paprika, black pepper and parsley flakes to make it nice and pretty and of course over here we have our parchment paper so the first thing that we want to do is rinse off your fish and then we're going to season it's really up to you if you want to season both sides absolutely you can so the first thing that we need to do is measure out since we have three pieces of fish we're going to need three pieces of paper okay and this is not wax paper i just want to clarify that once again this is a parchment paper that we will be using okay so let's get it nice and cut i hope y'all are having a great day today okay beautiful and so now that we have our paper what we're going to do is we will pick up our fish and get it nice and seasoned in our packet here okay put it right smack dab in the middle and we're going to go in with this mrs dash it is packed with beautiful flavor and honestly you don't feel like you're missing the salt it kind of feels like it has salt in it but it doesn't right that's why i love it all right and i'm going in with a nice amount oh look at that one thing i don't want you to do is be afraid to season don't be afraid to season your fish okay so we're going in with garlic powder beautiful paprika it's gonna give some great color this is not a smoked paprika it's just regular all right we will be putting black pepper okay and we're also gonna put some parsley flakes to make it nice and pretty now, one thing that we want to do, and I should have probably moved my <clears throat> cat, my uh, fish, leave the seasonings on the side, okay? So I should have cut my cabbage ahead of time. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do that now, okay? So that's what I would like for you to do ahead of time. We're going to take some of the cabbage, and we want to cut it down. I like when I when I bake my cabbage with this fish, I like to kind of shred it. So you'll be able to see once I come a little bit closer to the camera how thin I like to cut it. And those beautiful spices from the fish and the flavor from the fish goes all into this amazing cabbage. And it's one of the best tasting cabbages that you've ever had. Just trust me when I tell you this, okay? So let me get a platter to put my shredded cabbage on, okay? And I'll be right back. Now that we have the desired amount of shredded cabbage that we're looking for, let's go ahead and season our other pieces of fish just like so. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Absolutely, I do. Now, let me know in the comment section below, do you love fish? Do you love a flaky fish that's not fishy? If so, this is the fish for you. This is a beautiful cod. It's flaky. It has 
somewhat of a natural sweet taste and it's not fishy. If there's one thing that I cannot stand is a fish that tastes and smells really fishy. This one right here, that's far from the truth. We're gonna season up our last piece of fish just like so. I can tell you one thing. My family is so excited for this recipe. Now, there has been times where well, I'll turn around and I'll put the beautiful summer yellow squash. I'll slice it up and I'll put it underneath this and it is a home run. It's beautiful. So if you never had squash and fish together, they go together like peas and carrots. Absolutely it does. So now that we have each piece of fish nice and seasoned, when I come back, I wanna show you what we need to do with our cabbage and how our cabbage will get seasoned. So now, as you can see, we've put our desired amount of cabbage onto a, the parchment paper. And I want to go in with original Mrs. Dash. Okay, I want to take some of this beautiful vegan butter. Oh, yeah. And I want to put it smack dab in the middle. Okay. And then next, we're going to take our seasoned fish, put it right over top of the cabbage. Now, this right here, this is where it gets really interesting. So then we're going to take a beautiful lemon. We want to then slice it. I'm slicing it. Put one or two pieces on whatever floats your fanny. Okay, I feel like one piece is definitely enough. All right, we're gonna give it a little bit of color just by putting a little bit of seasoning on it. Okay, how beautiful. And the juice from the lemon will season up this whole little package here okay not only are we going to put butter onto our cabbage but we do need to take a little bit of the vegan butter and also put it onto z fish just like so and then we need to make what i like to call a fun envelope okay so here's what i like to do i like to bring the sides up okay can y'all see that let me do it again I like to bring the sides up and you don't need to double up your parchment paper. So now that we have the sides together, just kind of fold it, okay, as if it was a package or, you know, maybe, I, I guess I could say as if you were doing something like wrapping a present. So take a look, I fold it in the sides. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're gonna come this way and we're gonna do the exact same thing. All right, <clears throat> and we have our packet. This is gonna go on to our baking dish, which in our case will be the cookie sheet. And voila. We have a fish packet that will bake in the oven on 355 degrees until our fish is cooked. The fish will be guaranteed, it's gonna be juicy. Guaranteed to have flavor because we used amazing flavor. And the cabbage, listen here, it's gonna be packed with so much flavor. Not only is it packed with flavor, it's gonna have um, some flavor from the beautiful fish as well. So then we take our pack it okay and we're gonna put our packet right here right on top of the cookie sheet okay and we have three more to address so let's do the others I'll do another one on camera just in case there's anybody that didn't get to see what I did okay because it's so easy Let's bring our fish back into the equation. Scoot it aside. The desired amount of shredded cabbage. Make sure your cabbage shred it nice and fine. You know, I found out 
that even kids love this recipe. Sometimes, we all have to admit, sometimes, and once again with the seasoning, sometimes kids, they struggle with uh, vegetables. But when I make this recipe, even kids like this baked fish with the cabbage, and they can't resist it. They love it. Look it, took it. Ah, ha, ha. You bet. Okay, so now that that's ready, let's go ahead and take a little bit more of the vegan butter. We want it to melt all over our fish. And in the meantime, between time, we're going to turn around, put another slice of lemon. Like I said, that lemon flavor will go straight into the fish. You bet it will. All right, and make up your packet. You may feel like it's going to unravel. Sometimes they can unravel, but you know what? I don't worry about it. I just try to do what I can to get it to fold, you know, just like this. But most of the time, and I'd like to say 90% of the time, it will stay nice and folded up, okay? So now let's do this other side. We got fish packets, Gina Young style. You are going to love, love, love this recipe. Make it for your family and friends, all of your loved ones. And then let me know what they say about this recipe. Oh my goodness, they're going to be so excited. So we're going to get these into the oven, 355 degrees. And when I come back, you are going to get to taste this recipe to see what it looks like. I know you're excited to see how the cabbage cooks up. The cabbage cooks up just perfectly. I can't wait to eat it, and I know you can't wait to try the recipe as well. Okay, so like I said, this is going into the oven. And when you open it up, I want you to be very mindful that there will be some steam in this packet, okay? There will be steam, so be very careful when you're opening it up for yourself or your kids or your loved ones to just kind of, you know, maybe let it rest for a second before, you know, diving in. You don't want that steam to hit you in the face, you know. All right, beautiful. Let's rock and roll. Be sure to take out the seed out of your lemon you may have the seedless lemons if you do that's great everybody into the oven and here we are our fish is done the house smells beautiful and my stomach is a rumbling not only is my stomach rumbling my mouth is watering because i can't wait to taste this now one thing i'd like to um also throw out there if you have a can of um, chopped tomatoes you can put just a few on top of your cabbage it's absolutely delicious and it will bring in some great color as well so now here's what i'd like to do we're going to take one of these and you see how the packets the packets did not open up oh, although when you put them in there it looks like it's going to open up and all your juice is going to go everywhere no it doesn't no it doesn't and you can take a look take a look at the tray there's a tiny bit of juice but there's no juice because the juice is in the packet let's open this baby up look it took it oh my goodness make you some gina style you will love this recipe oh gina are you kidding me are you kidding me look at that look at the juice do you see the juice <laughs> Let's do that. You see the juice, all that right there. Lovely, lovely flavor in the cabbage. I really want to zoom in on the cabbage so you can see. Oh, <laughs> listen, if you enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. 
Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world what Gina is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let's get this onto a plate so we can eat it. And now, keep in mind, this can definitely be served right in the packet if you want it to. If, let's just say you want it to. Mm, mm, mm. But I'm going to put it on the plate for you all. Amen. Once again, to my beautiful prayer, take a look at the cabbage. Just like we fried this cabbage. Can, somebody can see the flavor, right? I know you can. Let's taste it. Taste it together. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see if our fish is flaky. You bet it's flaky. Does it have seasoning? Oh, you can see the seasoning. Take a bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Make you some Gina Young style. You're going to love me for this recipe. And as always, God bless. Thanks for watching. Good night. Look at the flavor. Look at the flaky. Look at the cabbage. Make you some. God bless. Good night.